Okay. All right. Okay, well, this is, we're sitting in the uh, top of the line, uh, 250 um, Platinum Super Duty 4x4 4 4, 67 diesel, uh, 925 uh, foot pounds of torque, 440 horsepower. Another, again, enabler to those best in class uh, capability claims that we talked about. Um, you certainly can uh, um, see that the, uh, uh, a lot of the uh, interior design, very uh, similar to F-150, uh, with the exception that the Super Duty has a dual glove box, so even more storage than uh, uh, is available in the F-150. There's also some unique aspects to um, uh, the rear seat. Got a um, um, very uh, innovative, class-exclusive, uh, um, our uh, lockable storage system under the second row seat uh, that again you can't have too much storage in a truck so it's uh, uh, great to have that ability to, to store things away in a, in a locked area or uh, fold the compartment into the floor and have the uh, benefits and utility of the flat load floor. Exactly, yep. Right. So talk about that a little bit. It was, uh... So one of the things with uh, Super Duty and heavy duty trucks in general are big vehicles. Uh, maneuvering a big vehicle isn't always the easiest thing to do, uh, especially in a in a low speed um, you know, parking lot uh, type of maneuver. So one of the innovations, um, one of the new uh, technology features is uh, uh, adaptive steering. And um, uh, what the adaptive steering does is it reduces uh, the amount of steering input, um, uh, provides variable ratio uh, steering so that at low speed, like we'll be going through on this off-road course, um, about a third less input required than a vehicle without adaptive steering. So it doesn't sound like a big deal, but if you think about how much time you spend uh, in a heavy duty truck in these low speed maneuvers, uh, parking lot or, or off road or what have you, um, reducing that amount of input can be a real you know, uh, productivity benefit from the standpoint as you're saving wear and tear on the, uh, on the driver and, and obviously making it much easier to uh, maneuver the truck. And then conversely, at high speeds, when you're on the freeway and you're towing a trailer and you're really conscious of not um, uh, putting too much input into the steering and upsetting the trailer that you're towing um, with the uh, adaptive steering, it does just the opposite at high speed and it um, compensates so that any you know, little move of the steering wheel isn't going to uh, cause the vehicle to change direction and upset the, uh, the trailer. So again, benefits you both um, at low speed and, and high speed. And in fact, it's been really one of the surprise and delight features that uh, uh, we've seen thus far with uh, uh, the training that we've been doing for the 2017 Super Duty. We've had 10,000 sales consultants and fleets wow. in the truck. And one of the most commonly uh, uh, talked about features has been the uh, adaptive steering and just what a, what a benefit it is. Is there anything like that in the, I mean, like basically the demo that we had was we went out on this really curvy course. Mm -hmm. And I think I pulled like a 12, 12 rotations of the steering wheel yep. on the course. Right. Super duty. On the other guys, it was like a, maybe like 17, yes, 20, right. 20, yeah. 22. It's generally about a 30. Uh, anywhere from a 30 to a 50 percent reduction in uh, steering efforts and uh, uh, again it doesn't sound like a lot but over the course of time and you know driving the vehicle uh, extensively it's going to really add up and uh, uh, just makes the vehicle so much more nimble and that's one of the things that you're going to experience today as you drive the truck the combination of that adaptive steering the fully box frame and then taking weight out of the upper body um, and lowering the center of gravity gives the truck a much more planted and uh, nimble feel. Uh, it drives much more like the F-150 than it 
does a, a traditional heavy duty truck. That dip keeps getting me. <laughs> Tell me about some of your, your personal history with Ford Super. Well, uh, you've been around for a while. Yeah, I've been with Ford for uh, I've been 38 and a half years. Um, I've been the truck group marketing manager for Ford uh, for the, this is my 15th year. So I've launched the last three generation um, F-150 and Super Duty products. And uh, uh, working on truck is about as good a place um, there is to be at Ford. And uh, uh, been really rewarding to to be part of the you know the leadership long leadership string that we've had. We're about to register our 40th consecutive year as the best-selling truck in America and the uh, 35th consecutive year as the best-selling uh, vehicle, car, truck, or SUV in America. So um, again, we really pride ourselves on on trucks, and it's where uh, I think it's where Ford shows best and and. Uh, where we have our greatest strengths, and it's uh, fun to be a part of that. What, what do you attribute that to? All the uh, all exactly. Well, the well I, I, there's a number of things. Uh, first of all, I think at the root of it is um, having the best insight, best customer insight in the industry. We really pride ourselves in, in really understanding um, in detail the full um, breadth of our customer base, and it's a very broad and varied customer base. We have a lot of different. Uh, customer profiles and uh, we spend lots of time making sure that we understand the customer and can anticipate their needs and how um, they could see us making the tool which is the way they view the truck um, a more productive tool so I think that's really at the root of our success and then uh, we've been able to use that insight to innovate so we're talking about you know, today this 2017 Super Duty with all you know this new design and and feature content and everything. Um, we're out here at the uh, Texas Auto Riders Truck Rodeo and we've got um, the 17 Model F-150 with the new 10-speed transmission and uh, we've got the new 2017 F-150 Raptor uh, coming back for the first time. Raptor's been out of market for, yeah, for two years and so there's three big examples of um, really new innovation that Ford is bringing to uh, full-size pickups and what that's done is it keeps our customers coming back um, for the latest and greatest in trucks and builds that loyalty and uh, that loyalty has paid off as I said in that you know, 30 plus years of uh, truck leadership. So um, I think that's a big reason. I think we have a lot of experience on the truck team. I just want to talk about my background, but that's not unique. And chassis, we've got um, team members that have similar um, levels of experience and even more. And that that continuity uh, again helps contribute to how well we know the customer and how well we're able to really uh, develop uh, new trucks that are you know the, are really tuned to their needs. Talk about the aluminum. started working on that program back in 2008 and we revealed the truck for the first time in 2014, January 2014 and uh, um, so it was long in the making and one of the work streams that we undertook before um, we made the decision to go that route was how our customers respond to the material and what we learned in all of our customer interactions was that the majority of our customers um, already had exposure to a and aluminum's um, uh, value or aluminum's benefit in terms of not just lightweight but high strength. And if you think about it, there's a lot of applications, whether it's in you know, things like uh, wheels, uh, aluminum wheels, uh, ladder racks, um, uh, tools, uh, aviation, uh, military vehicles, uh, a lot of places where aluminum is used, where the high strength properties are as valued as its lightweight properties. And so 
what we learned was that many of our customers were already very familiar with that, especially in the heavy-duty truck arena, because they had uh, their um, equipment and tools that they were using, even like second unit bodies on, that get mounted on chassis cabs are typically aluminum. They, they knew aluminum was important and, and uh, functional because it was strong as well as light. And uh, so we, from that research that we had already had a high degree of acceptance built in. In fact, a lot of those customers said, I don't think you guys so long you know, to, to aluminum. And then the remainder, the other probably 20%, um, we've been uh, able to convince, based on all of the rigorous testing that we've done, both F-150, the 2015 F-150, and now the 2017 Super Duty, are the most tested trucks that Ford's ever introduced. We had 10 million miles of testing on the 2015, and um, uh, we increased that to 12 million miles of testing for the 2017 Super Duty before we introduced it to the market. So we're very confident that uh, um, the high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy will deliver the built for tough um, attribute that our um, F-Series customers are so accustomed to. Do you see that as a direction for like, just all vehicles in the future, or is, that, is, is there a reason that there's a particular truck application? Well, lightweighting, the way we're um, implementing it with the aluminum alloy, is particularly beneficial. It, the more weight that you take out of the truck, the more weight the customer can put in in terms of the payload, the stuff that they want to carry, or the things that they want to tow. So lightweighting uh, in most vehicles, the primary benefits would be around fuel economy and the vehicle dynamics, the handling, and, and as I said, lowering the center of gravity. But with trucks, you get the added benefit of increasing the capability. So that was another reason for us to take the lead with that. Uh, into the trucks first, but absolutely, I think that's, you know, as, as we move forward and we're trying to get more fuel economy out of vehicles of all uh, shapes and sizes, uh, light weighting is going to play a role. Does that add cost to the raw materials that goes into it? Uh, it can. Um, it, it absolutely can, and uh, it depends, again, on the, you know, the volumes that you're talking about. It depends on the materials that, that you're using. One of the one of the benefits with aluminum is that um, we're, our utilization, our efficiency is so much greater uh, with aluminum because we have a, we have a closed loop recycling process. So the same trucks that bring in the coils of aluminum into the stamping plant, they literally drop off those coils and then they pull over to an area of the stamping plant where we've captured all of the scrap um, by alloy type. Um, and they load up that scrap and take it right back to the aluminum mill mm -hmm. to get melted down to make, you know, the um, additional aluminum. So there's much closer to, because of the value of the scrap with aluminum in this um, closed loop system, there's much greater um, material utilization than we had with steel. And so we're more efficient and so we're offsetting some of that higher cost of the material just by being more efficient. So what are your thoughts about what uh, Trump said about uh, Ford jobs and all that? Well, the, the facts, you know, the, the simple facts are that Ford employs more manufacturing workers in the United States, uh, over 28,000, than any other automotive um, OEM. And uh, Ford has invested $12 billion uh, in the U.S. in the last five years. So the facts clearly show that uh, you know, Ford is investing in the United States and the United States workforce, and obviously, just recently, the UAW came out, and you know, they're, they're the people that are the most concerned about U.S. jobs, and uh, corroborated that you know, Ford um, had that kind of commitment um, to U.S. manufacturing. So, we'll uh, you know, we'll let the facts you know speak for themselves, and feel very confident about. Uh, uh, the way we've um, invested in uh, in the future of the U.S. Now, can you talk about anything uh, related to Ranger or Bronco? Uh, just stay tuned. You know, we don't uh, <laughs> no, no specific comments on on future product. You just have to stay tuned for for more news. Uh, as I said earlier, the 
uh, the one thing that's clear in the truck space, no one has been more aggressive uh, in terms of their product cadence and bringing you know, new innovation uh, to the market than Ford. And uh, that's just been unquestioned here for a number of years. And I can tell you that our um, product cadence plans uh, going forward on the truck side are um, you know, even more aggressive. So uh, we'll, have, we'll have lots to talk about and, and lots of things for uh, your customers and your viewers to get excited about. So back to the Super Duty, are these already at all the dealerships now? Yes, yeah, we are. September was our first full month of sales. Uh, we're off to a great start. Um, we had expected to sell a thousand of the 2017s in September and we actually sold 4,000. So oh, wow. we're very pleased with the start. A lot of uh, anticipation. We'd, we had first revealed the truck a little over a year ago at the um, State Fair of Texas. And so a lot of people had been anxiously awaiting uh, its arrival. So we're. Uh, yeah, I saw one guy online that had just bought a Super Duty, I think a year ago or a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. And he was posting it on, I want to say Craigslist or something. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Yeah. I just want to get a new yeah, one. Yeah. So you know, there's a lot of excitement about yeah. that. Again, you can imagine the first all new Super Duty from the ground up in, since 1999. Um, uh, much, much interest in. Uh, uh, and all this uh, new technology and you know uh, fully box frame and the new material and and all the capability um, aspects of the truck so this was the platinum this is a platinum and yep. what other trim levels so platinum is the top of the line and below that is lariat uh, then xlt um, then uh, stx for 2017 and xl is uh, King Ranch on the level of Platinum, or is that kind of uh, King Ranch and Platinum are basically Platinum. the same level. They're just different choices. Uh, King Ranch is for that customer looking for um, a ranch luxury as opposed to a more urban luxury with a Platinum model. Now, when were this at? I'm not tall enough for the outside. I need to. Thanks. So what about the dually? How how much uh, how much does that add to your uh, towing capability, or what, what's the well what's significant? The, I mean that yeah. your your max tower that tows thirty two thousand five hundred pounds is a is a um, you know an F four fifty um, um, you know uh, dual rear wheel uh, pickup, and uh, uh, again that's a. Uh, um, the chassis cabs and the dualies are a big part of um, heavy-duty trucks and, and just give you that added both, uh, you know, payload and uh, tow capability. All right, great.